Welcome to a new DIY engineers video. In this video, I'll go over how to do image flipping, cropping, resizing, rotating, and translating with OpenCV. I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi since it's part of a Raspberry Pi video series, but what I'm gonna say applies to OpenCV and Python in general. Now, I'm within my Raspberry Pi virtual environment and folder that we created in previous video. And I'm using the Python code we wrote in the last video where we added shapes and text to an image starting from a black image. So let's go ahead and get started with resizing. To do image resizing, all we need to do is use the cv2 resize command and pass the image to be resized along with the height and width. So let's go ahead and add some stuff right here. So I'll do img underscore resized equals cv2 dot resize. We need to decide what to pass. We're going to pass img since that's the last image that we started that was black and we added all the text and shapes and all that too. And I want to resize it to 250, 250, and then we'll have to do CV2, I am show, we'll call that one resized, and we'll pass the name of the new image resized we created. Okay, so I'll hit save as, because I don't want to save it as the same name that we just worked out in the last video. And then I'll just go ahead and run that. All right, so this was the original image. And you can see this is the resized image that is much smaller now. And it should be 250 by 250. And you can see they've got to these corners, the 249, 249. It's not 250 because we start at zero. So we're not counting that as one, we're counting it as zero. And that's, that's the correct output. So let's close that, go back to the code. Now, if you pass a height and width that matches the aspect ratio, you get the normal image just smaller or bigger. But if you don't match the aspect ratio, you can stretch the image. So let's try that. We'll call this one IMG stretched. You just copy and paste this. And then we'll make this 512. So matching the original dimension, we'll still do 250. Then we'll go ahead and add this. And run it. So you can see here, this is the resized image. And this is your stretched image, which has the same height as the one we resized, but the width of the old one. And you can see that everything now is stretched and it lost the aspect ratio. So let's close and let's start with cropping. So in the previous video, I mentioned that image dimensions are in pixels with the height and width and the exact location of pixels measured relative to the top left corner. When we're cropping, all we're really doing is taking a section of the NumPy array and ignoring the rest. We don't really use OpenCV functions. Instead, we just specify the range of the array we want to take out. So when we do this, the first term represents the number of rows on that number array that we want to keep. So since we're specifying the rows, this will specify the vertical range of the image. And the second term will specify the columns of the NumPy array. So that will represent the horizontal range of the image. In this case, I just want to crop just outside of the polygon and keep the polygon. So let's, let's try that. So here, I'll go to img underscore crop equals img and let's try that so again this is the range of rows i want to keep so i'm specifying the vertical range and then this is the range of columns i want to keep so i'm specifying the horizontal range and we'll look at that when the image comes out I save it and run. All right, so you can see we'll ignore everything else since we already looked at the stretch ones. But you can see that the image goes from zero all the way to 419 or call it 420 width. So this matches the fact that we wanted to go from 40 to 460. And that was the range of columns, which defines again the horizontal range. And then we have the vertical range that goes from zero all the way to 369 or it's a 370 range. And that matches going from 40 to 410. That's the difference, 370. Pretty simple. Now next, let's work on flipping the image. To flip the image, we're gonna use the CV2 flip function. So let's try that. You can flip horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. We'll try all three. So we'll start with Y. That will be CV2 dot flip. Open parentheses, we'll pass the image, and we'll do zero for vertical flip. And then we'll just copy and paste that. If you wanna do a horizontal flip, you do a one. And if you want to do both vertical and horizontal, you do a negative one. So we'll call this flip vertical. And 
then let's copy and paste that a couple more times to print the horizontal flip in the diagonal. All right, so let's look at all of them. So you can see this is horizontal flip. It looks everything the same vertically, but mirrored about the midpoint horizontally. If we look at the vertical, same thing. We kept everything the normal way, except we flip vertically. And then the diagonal, and you can see how it's a mix of the two. All right. So now let's go and rotate images. Now to rotate images, we will extract the image dimensions from the NumPy array. We will then get the rotation matrix, define the horizontal and vertical coordinate limits, and know that all these are measured from the center, that's what we will divide by two. Anyways, let me just show you. So first we'll get the rows, columns, and depth of the image. And it's as simple as running image shape. We did this in a prior video with IMG being the image and dot shape being the parameter that we have to run to extract the NumPy dimensions of this image. So we're going to get the rows, meaning how many pixels we have. And the rows will define like the vertical dimension of the image. The columns will be the horizontal dimension and depth will be three because it's a colored image. Then we'll do M, which is a rotational matrix. We'll do CV2 dot get rotation matrix 2D. And then we'll do columns minus one divided by two. And then we'll do comma, same thing, but we're rows, rows minus one, close parentheses divided by two, close that. Now we'll define the rotation angle. Let's just start with 90. And then we'll do a one where the one, basically it's going to define the scaling factor. One means just leave it as it is. Greater than one zooms in, less than one zooms out. So then we're going to define the rotated image, so img underscore rotated equals cv2 dot warp affine img, sorry, open parentheses, img, comma, the rotation matrix, comma, the columns and rows that we defined earlier. Okay, and then I go here, cv2. I should just copy and paste everything. We'll call this one rotated. And then this is image rotated. I'll save and let's run that. Okay, I made a mistake. Let me see. It should be capitalized. That was supposed to have an S. All right, so you can see I rotated 90 degrees. All right. What if I wanted to rotate at 45 degrees? Here's a rotated image and you can see the 45 degree rotation and anything that doesn't fit in the original frame will just be ignored and left out. That's what happened here. And then let's try this at 0.5. You can see it zoomed down and now you can get the whole image but you have plenty of unused space. And if I zoom in, obviously, I mean, you know what zooming in is, so that's what it looks like. I mean, I overdid it here. I could zoom in way less. There you go. All right, so I'll just keep this back at one. And now let's just do image translation. So to translate the image, we need a transformation matrix similar to the rotation matrix, but one for translation. In this case, it will be of the form of a matrix with a diagonal one, zeros on the other edges, and then on the outer side, we'll have the transformation for X and Y. So let's just, let's just define that. So I think it's easiest if we just define first DX. So how much we wanna move, I'll say 200, and then DY. I'll say negative 150. Then let's define the transformation matrix. I'll call this one empty. And we'll just call this one open parentheses. And we'll start our matrix. So we'll have one comma zero comma dx. Close that. And then we'll go to the next row. Zero comma one comma dy. Close that. Close the other bracket. And there you go. And then we'll just do img underscore translated equals cv2 dot warp fine we pass the image we do MT this time instead and we'll do columns and rows we just need to now call this one translated
Okay. Save it and let's test it. So I forgot to make sure to specify it as a NumPy array. So I need to say NP, NumPy. We'll specify it as float32. All right, let's run that. And here's our translated, right? Move that towards the X 200. And remember, Y direction moves positive from zero and down is positive. So negative, we would have moved it up, which is what just happened. That was the negative 150. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.